Hey guys, how you're doing? And may the fourth be with you. It is actually Revenge of the Fifth as I'm filming this day. This is really my um, first opportunity to film a new video since I got back from my three week massive trip from uh, the United States. Um, we got back about two or three days ago and we've just been catching up on rest. It um, didn't seem like the jet lag hit us too badly, but it sort of did as the days progressed and we're sort of getting on top now. But um, it was a massive trip, did so much, met so many people, caught up with a lot of friends. Um, it was just an absolutely massive trip and I can't wait to talk about it more in the next video. Um, but for today, I just want to do a haul video. This is probably my biggest haul that I've ever sort of put up in one go. Um, this is from like all of, this is just my Star Wars stuff that I bought on the trip. Um, T-shirts, they're still sort of, I've got a massive stack of T-shirts, but they're all sort of being washed and dried and they're all going through their cleaning cycles because we've got a lot of massive amount of washing to catch up on. So I'll try and put them in another video and I'll go through my T-shirts in a separate video. But um, yeah, I've got, I've got loads of stuff. I've got it sprawled out over my dining room table. Um, so we'll go and have a look at that. And uh, yeah, and I hope you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, it's awesome to be back. So I can't wait to chat with all you guys and uh, tell you all about my trip because it was an absolute blast. All right, guys, let's have a look. All right, so just quickly before I forget, um, I did speak before I left in my sort of countdown videos that I was going to get a tattoo. It happened um, on the Sunday, the last day of celebration, I indeed sat there for four hours of hell. Um, <laughs> no, the last last hour was pretty agonizing, but uh, yeah, it was, it was a long four hours, but uh, here it is. Um, you've probably, if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you've, you've seen pictures of this, but, um, it's just on my inner left arm and I'm super impressed with how it came out. Uh, the artist is, uh, her name is Riza Boo. That's what she goes by. Her name was, her real name's Carissa. I can't think of her last name. I apologize, but, uh, yeah, you should be able to find her if you want to look up more of her artwork. She did my girlfriend's tattoo as well, and uh, she did an absolutely incredible job. Um, so I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. So I just wanted to share that before I forget. And just quickly before I start really getting into everything else in the video, I picked up this magazine yesterday, The Ultimate Guide to Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Picked this up at the, at the uh, local news agent. So I'm looking forward to having a flick through that. I just want to show you some pictures I got at Celebration. Um, I'm actually recording this after I do my main video, so I'm just going to slot this bit in early. Uh, I got to meet Steve, Steve Sansweet. We did. We went to Rancho Obi Wan about two weeks after Celebration, so I got to spend some time with Steve again. But I got to meet him at Celebration at the uh, display he had set up, which was a uh, twelve-year-old bedroom in 1979. It was incredible. So, uh, Steve was an absolute gentleman as you'd expect and, uh, signed this awesome photograph for me. So I got to meet Mark Hamill. So, I'm looking forward to getting these framed. Unfortunately, the day I met him for, well, I got to got this, get this picture signed, uh, he actually caught laryngitis over the weekend and couldn't talk. So I uh, didn't get to didn't get to have a chat with him, but he was still pretty pleasant, and uh, I got to meet him beforehand. So that was really exciting. Meeting beforehand, this is I got my photo with him. <laughs> so that's that just made my day. It really did. And uh, on the first day, I got to meet Hayden Christensen, which was. Super awesome. So I just wanted to share those pictures. Um, yeah, it was really exciting times and uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. So on to the next bit. All right, guys, here it all is. Um, yeah, it's this is pretty big. Um, so I'm gonna take some time and sort of just look at each of the items. I've got a lot sort of laid out so I can go through it. Um, reasonably easily. I've got the dog sleeping on the couch and A New Hope is playing. So that's pretty cool. But first of all, I've got a couple of posters I just want to share. So I can I can share these and get them out of the way. Um, 
this was from Celebration. I sort of, I was just happened to be walking over to the Hasbro booth um, on the uh, the Saturday, I think, which is when they put the Grand Admiral Thrawn out on display. I wanted to go get a couple of shots of that and uh, just have a good look at it in person. And uh, Stephen Hayford, that does all the artwork um, with figures like this piece here, he just happened to be signing um, posters there at the time. I was I went past his um. His art, artist alley, booth in the artist alley, I wanted to go get one of his prints later on that day. And, um, you know, he happened to be at the Hasbro booth just signing some posters and giving them away. So I got this absolutely incredible piece. Um, so the Star Wars The Black Series. Um, so it's got the new uh, Sand People. The new uh, Luke's Land Speeder on it. There's a little sneaky Jawa sitting there. There's R2. And if you see down here, he's got the printed signature and then he's signed above it. So I'm going to go take this to a frame shop and get this uh, put in a really nice frame because it's an incredible print. Unfortunately, it did get a very small little crease in there in transit, um, which was a little bit of a pity, but it was it was hard to hard to manage that. So I'm really, really stoked to get that. So I'm just going to move that out of the way and I'll jump back in a sec. All right, now for my next poster. We uh, we attended the 40th anniversary panel, unfortunately. Uh, we didn't get to see it on the live stage, but we did see it streamed into one of the um, other stages. And on our way out, they were giving out these posters, um, just commemorating Carrie Fisher, and the tribute to Carrie was absolutely amazing. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. Um, and I didn't, didn't realize until later that these were actually numbered. Um, so I got 434 of 8,000. So 8,000 of these were handed out and um, it was kind of disappointing to see how many of these ended up on eBay within within the hour of receiving them. Um, but it's, it's just an absolutely beautiful piece. And um, yeah, this one's going in a frame because it's just an absolute a beautiful poster. And uh, to have a have a numbered, numbered copy of it was just extra special. And uh, yeah, a lot of memories and a lot of love for Carrie Fisher, of course. And just very quickly, we got a couple of these Galactic Nights posters. We had, we attended Galactic Nights on April the 14th um, at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Um, we had an absolutely amazing night and we got a couple of posters on our way out. So I'm going to get one of these framed up as well. We've got two, so um, that was pretty awesome too. So... Yeah, just want to share them. All right, here we go. Um, I'll, I'll try and do it. I'll try not to take too long on all this stuff, but there is a lot here to go through. Um, so first thing, I'll go with what I, what I got when I got back, um, since I've been back. These had arrived. I pre-ordered these from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, they were sent probably within a week before I left, so I knew they'd be here when I got home. Um, so I was very, very excited to be able to open these up. Um, plus I got two of the Celebration exclusive Lukes. I did get three. I gave one to, uh, Darth Phoenix 619 just as a gift. Um, we spent the night at his place and, uh, we spent a night at his place and, um, he was, ex him and his family were extremely generous and, uh, I just, I got him, I got him one just as a bit of a gift. Um, unfortunately one of them got a little bit of a ding in the bubble in transit but I did do my best to keep them keep them nice and tidy but it's not too bad I, don't, it, I assume they got dented in transit I could have bought it like this I don't think so but um, so I don't know I, I'm not sure what to do with this spare one um, I was hoping to trade one for an R5D4 that I couldn't find over there in GameStop but uh, yeah it's going to be hard to trade this one away but uh, we'll see what happens it's a pretty cool piece but so that's the vintage black series figures so far so i'm really happy to have them in the collection and i can't wait to put them on display so we'll move up to the back now we've got this uh the big hapabore from the disney stores um i didn't realize it was this big i'd seen pictures of it when it came out a year and a half ago whenever it was um I thought it would be more in scale with the three and three quarter inch figures, 
But we're walking around a Disney store and I saw this thing. I thought, that's bloody massive. I said, I can't even think of how much it would cost. It was five dollars. Five freaking dollars. And uh, I was kind of worried about the space because it's, it's big. Like it's it's as long as your arm. Like it's, it's huge. And uh, my girlfriend said, look, just get it for five dollars. If we can't bring it home, we'll, we'll, we'll give it away. Um, and we managed to get it home. So that was super exciting. Also from the Disney store, I've got these from two different Disney stores. I've got the, the 10 inch Elite Series uh, Death Trooper and Darth Vader. The Death Trooper was uh, on clearance for $15 and the Vader was 20 from another store in Santa Monica. These, that one was from a store in Florida. But um, yeah, I've got the Vader on the last day. Um, also got the Rebel model of the ATACT. That was 15 bucks. So that was awesome. Um, also picked up the latest itty bitty of Admiral Akbar. This is probably my favorite one too. I picked that up from a Hallmark store. Also from Celebration, I got the uh, ex Celebration exclusive Biggs Dark Lighter car. Um, when I picked it up, Garrick Hagen, who played uh, Biggs, he was actually signing them. And uh, there was about three people left in line and he had to go to his signing booth. So I just missed out on his autograph, which was a pity. But um, yeah, I was still really happy to get the car. But uh, and I picked up these two cars, the K2SO and the Chirrut cars. I picked them up in LAX um, on our way into America. And uh, these were a gift from Darth Phoenix 619. Uh, he helped me out massively with my car collection. Um, with my Hot Wheels collection. Um, yeah, an enormous help. I've been struggling to find some of these for, for quite a while. And uh, I've got a couple back here that I know he needs, so um, that he can't find. So I'm gonna pick them up as soon as I can. So really happy to have these cars in my collection now. And uh, speaking of Darth Phoenix 619, he also gave me these as a gift. These are Lego minifigure poly bags. Um, just another thing that doesn't come out here in Australia. And he was extremely kind enough to, to pass these on to me. And uh, so I'm really, really happy with these, especially that Revan, like that's, that's incredible. Um, I was just blown away when he gave them, to, gave them to me. I just didn't think I'd ever see some of these. Um, so that was incredibly generous. Um, what next? We'll go into some magazines. I got the uh, Celebration exclusive uh, Dark Side cover of the latest Star Wars Insider with our uh, Krennic on the front. Thought that was really cool. And uh, this is the Star Wars Celebration Orlando 2017 sort of commemorative guide. Now, I haven't had really had a good look through it, but I'm looking forward to doing so. Got the Thrawn book, which I'm really looking forward to dig into. I'm still trying to get through Empire's End, um, mainly because we've been on holidays and we're so busy, haven't had time to sort of sit back and listen to the listen to the rest of the audio book of uh, Empire's End. So, and last time I tried to, I fell asleep for two hours, um, so I've got no idea where I left off. So I need to go back and do that. Also picked up these Lego sets. Um, these are two that didn't come out in Australia, so. The Land Speeder was a Walmart exclusive, and I managed to get the uh, the Phantom Mark II, which was which is a really good build, and it comes with the little Thrawn minifig, Chopper and Kanan. And there's a couple of business cards that uh, Wit gave me from DBSW. We got to hang out for a day in San Francisco and the Bay Area, and he drove us around for a few hours, which was awesome. It was really awesome to meet him, finally. Really awesome dude. Can't wait to hang out again. Um, these Vinylmations, we picked up our first ever Vinylmations. Again, something you can't get in Australia, so... We uh, picked up two each, and I got a couple of Force Awakens packs, and my girlfriend got, got these two. Um, uh, unfortunately, I got two Phasmas, so I gave one to Darth Phoenix 619. Thought it would be cool, cool in his collection. And uh, this Unleashed, Unleashed Luke Skywalker. 
back from the early 2000s. I picked that up at Celebration for 15 bucks. So uh, I just thought that was a kick-ass display piece. And uh, what else? We've got the I got the sort of the what are they calling it? The Legacy Pack with the new Vader. I got that from a GameStop. So that was exciting. Got the ATACT driver from the Black Series. Got him from Celebration. I got the Target 3 pack with uh, Cassian Jin and the Death Trooper Specialist. Because I've got a spare Jin now. There's that Vader. That's impressive. And uh, this Boba Fett was a gift from Fallen Jedi. Um, and if you look carefully, it's been it's been repainted, so he's got the Return of the Jedi deco. So this is an absolute um, this is a, an absolute treasure to have in my collection. Um, it's not often able to get something something a gift from a friend that they've put so much work into. And uh, yeah, this is definitely a, a really special piece. And he's done an absolutely awesome job painting this up. So, uh, thank you to my good friend Fallen Jedi. It was also got to spend a day with him, which was fantastic. And his mother, um, really amazing people. And uh, hopefully we get to do it again with some beer next time. Uh, what else have we got? We've got so much to get through here. <laughs> um, finally found the Clone Wars movie soundtrack. I've been hunting for this damn thing for a long time. And uh, managed to get it at one of the Disney parks for eight ninety five. So, I've had the soundtrack digitally for a lot of years and uh, just didn't have a hard copy of it. So, happy to have that. Got this book uh, when I bought the Star Wars Insider magazine from their booth at Celebration. Also got this book, the prequel trilogy, a graphic novel. I was really impressed with the artwork from the original trilogy, so I had to grab that. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty damn awesome. Excuse me. I also picked up the movie Realization Samurai Toshu Darth Vader. Um, again, Fallen Jedi sort of talked me into this to a, to a point. I've been talking myself into it for a long time. And uh, just seeing photos of his collection of these um, just really put me over the edge and had to get one. We got to do the Droid Factory at the Disney Parks in the Tatooine Traders. So uh, me and my girlfriend both built a droid each so there's mine so there's my initials and the year I was born that's how I got the name and the same with hers so that was fun and so I got I've also got just little bits and pieces scattered all over like uh, some patches that I got at the Rebel Force Radio Bash as you can see got this name badge at the uh, Tatooine Traders in uh, Hollywood Studios. So it's got my name in Oribesh. And some figures. Let's have a look at some three and three quarter figures. I've got some vintage stuff. Uh, I picked these all up at Celebration for a pretty good price. I just wanted to collect some more of the original vintage stuff and uh, I got a proper Chewy because I found out the, the vintage Chewy I did have was the remake that they did in the 90s I think. And my Vader had a chewed off face, so <laughs> I was happy to get them. I was also able later to get the Jedi Revolt pack, mainly so I could have these three figures here. Um, I already had that gin, so I don't really need another gin. These figures are sweet. And then throughout the trip, I was able to catch up on my three and three quarter inch black series figures because they didn't show up either. Um, that Ray aside. That's the more recent, most recent Ray. But I was able to get Phasma and uh, Ray at Celebration. I think I, I think I grabbed them from Dorkside. Um, then for ten bucks each. And uh, Han and Leia, I managed to get them at a Walmart. They were on. I think most of the WalMarts have them for about five dollars eighty six at the moment, or something like that. So I grabbed them. They were dirt cheap. So. Really happy, I just need Poe and I'll pretty much be caught up with my Force Awakens uh, three and three quarter inch figures. Um, so moving down, 
here's our four day badges and uh, my girlfriend went for a wander just while I was getting tattooed and she uh, she got that one signed by the artist which is uh, uh, Paul Shipper he, um, he did all the artwork for the badges and uh, he just happened to be standing there signing people's badges if they wanted them and uh, my girlfriend sort of said yeah why not so really re that's really cool so that's a nice part of the collection now again some pins I picked up and uh, badges that people were giving away that's from uh, Owen Ken of Freaks, Ken of, Ken of Freaks 7 uh, got to hang out with him a bit too really awesome dude um, oh, I've got to catch up with so many people um, yeah I can't wait to talk about talk about it all Get this badge, this exclusive uh, badge from Galactic Knights pin so that's really cool nice little memento from that night that was incredible and there's our badge and there's some 3D glasses that Owen gave me as well that was cool also picked up this the uh, Mafex Kylo Ren the, the latest unmasked version I picked that up from Dorkside uh, when I was catching up with Fly Guy got to meet up with Fly Guy and uh, he knocked a few bucks off of this for me, which, which was awesome. It was really generous. And uh, yeah, really awesome to meet Fly Guy too, finally. <laughs> it's been a lot of years. Uh, yesterday, May the 4th was yesterday. I uh, went out and picked up the vinyl, the two disc LP of the uh, Rogue One soundtracks. I can't wait to give that a spin later on today. Uh, again, from the Disney stores, picked up the Droid Factory pack. There's some awesome looking droids in this pack. Like Zero's droid, um, I think that's Hondo's droid, I can't remember the other two. We've got Hondo's droid, he's got the blaster in his head, that's so sick. <laughs> I can't wait to crack this open. Um, okay, yeah, I can't remember the other two, I'll have to look them up. But uh, yeah, <laughs> especially the paint apps on, that, on Zero's droid and uh, Hondo's droid, so cool. Also picked up the new chopper. I picked him up twice because the card looks cool. Yeah, such a good little figure, such a massive upgrade on the old one. Uh, like he's a little bit bigger. His arms are articulated. He's got a swap out leg. You can swap out the middle wheel for a thruster. The little arm on the front swings out. His head moves. The legs move and legs move back, and his feet move. Ah. Oh. I bought one and uh, yeah, I opened it up. I thought, oh, it was so sad having to pull it off the card. Yeah, it, look, it looks really cool on that, on that nice blue uh, Droid Factory card at, from Disney. So I thought, oh, I've got to go pick up another one. <laughs> so I did. But yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, like I said, I've got t shirts and stuff I want to go through. I've got this hat that I'm wearing on my head, which I hunted high and low for, um, which is my new favourite hat. But, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, it's so good. I've got to find somewhere to put all this stuff now. <laughs> I've got to reorganise my room. I've probably got to do a trip to Ikea just so I can reorganise and reshuffle and put things where I want them to be. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you got to this point, I thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, I've got plenty of stories to tell and some videos coming up and, you know, plenty of reviews to do. And if anyone wants to spotlight on anything from here, sing out and uh, drop a comment and I'll do my best to do a video on it. But I mean, I've still got things to open, like those figures to open. I've got the Vader to open, the model to put together. Oh, I've got so much, so much playtime <laughs> ahead of me. So cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until my next video, may the force be with you. Always.